Hello guys, this is the second assignment that I'm going to do uh, on a video capture which is on Inkscape. So I'm, I'm going to try to design my maker table on Inkscape. Uh, please uh, follow me. We turn on the Inkscape. Inkscape just takes uh, some time to load because uh, image. Now what I am, uh, my idea is about a maker uh, table which is when you sit all the machines and your computer is next to you. You, you don't need to go around uh, in a different place. So it starts with a circle. Okay. Then we need another, uh, another square shape. Now this should be exactly the same size, let's say one thirty. Okay, sorry. Um, here is the width. So one hundred. This one is as well, 100. Now, as you can see, there is nothing that snaps to the corners of the circuit. Uh, this uh, the circuit, this is something that you have to deal with in the Inkscape. So what we have to do to make them exactly in center, um, let's say we give them the same X position let's say 50 and this one also we go here 50 now by uh, if you want to, uh, to zoom in you press control and then scroll up we are zooming in just to test if this is going exactly to the middle okay now what we have to do is like we want to join these uh, uh, two shapes. You either press Control A, which selects all, or you can just select it this way, and then uh, you go to the object, uh, or sorry, path, and then here are the short circuits. Control and plus sign join uh, unites them. Okay, so let's use the keys. But anyway, these are the keys over here. Okay. Now what we want to do is like copy and paste Control C and Control B. Um, resize it. Let's see, fifty. And now let's cut this shape. Um, okay, path. Sorry, and then cut that. Ah, this is the wrong position. Path difference. Okay. Now uh, this is the ta uh, one ta one side of the table. So what we need to do is like also cut this one out. But uh, wait, I'm just we selected all path, then difference. Now this is one table, okay, and then. It can be interconnected with other table like um, let me show you just control C control B okay 
now one person will be sitting here the other person will be sitting here but each person has his own set of uh, um, his own set of tools let's say we want to draw a keyboard just say that this is a keyboard and right click here to set the fill to white uh, this is the keyboard I think this is very big this is, yeah. and now the mouse it's oval shape This is the mouse. Uh, I usually use dual screen, so in that matter, uh, I always like to use dual screen to see something and work on something else at the same time because it might be a tutorial that I'm following and I'm uh, implementing on the other screen. Or sometimes, you know, I watch something on the web uh, to take some information and then add it on the other screen. So, this is why I chose that it has to have a dual screen. And let's make it a little bit wider. Let's go back. Okay, control C, control V. Now this one, uh, there is a flip screen. Uh, this button makes this flip. Okay, to make them on the same level, let's take the Y. Control C, copy the Y, and here come. They are both on the same level. And uh, select them and then press Ctrl G. This makes it as a group. You can move it. Usually they don't be at the end of the screen because they have stands. Okay, now let's go ahead to the portions. Now this is one section uh, let's say this is uh, the 3D printer where you are going to put the 3D printer and here you want to do the soldering for example Now these are two, uh, this is where you do a soldering, here this is the 3D printer and let me select those, copy and paste and then opposite side, let's group them as well because I, I want them to move together and this as well a group. So this has a Y. and then we go and paste the Y so that they become at the same level and then just move them to the other side now let's say here you do um, uh, 3D printing here you do uh, reflow and here uh, you do your um, uh, what do they call it your milling uh, or whatever other kind of machine or laser engraving or vinyl uh, cutting okay so when you sit over here let's say you are a person sitting over here uh, lots of wind outside uh, control G Mm -hmm. 
okay so if you see uh, this maker table um, this maker table over here is going to be something that is around you so when you spin here you have all this machine you spin here you can do the soldering you spin here you have your computer and the rest of the machines so this will be very easier for, uh, very easy uh, to access uh, to get access to your uh, things and I do believe that it has uh, a very good thing especially uh, I'm going to add some features like inside the table the table itself will have a built-in computer within the table itself so uh, but I can't draw it on this 2 CAD 2D CAD I am not an artist to draw but just this is just a layout to try so let's say if I group this and then control C control B and and hold the control so that it goes exactly the way we want it okay now this is uh, two tables now what you can do is really that this these tables has uh, connectors in the edge to connect ethernet and uh, to connect ethernet and connect power together uh, so that you have only the power coming power mains coming from one side and then distributing it all over the tables and it, as well as the lamp so let's zoom out and where is the there is no layout tab over here this is one of the uh, problems with this uh, inkscape we said five it will take us to the now imagine this is your lab and you want another table so control C control V and then here so one person two person three person everyone has his set his own set of uh, things okay if you want to make another uh, uh, to make them in another shape you can make a connector uh, table here to make to go um, vertically so that's it for today and that's the tutorial on uh, Inkscape and uh, thanks for watching everyone and please uh, like and subscribe to my channel okay bye